my name is Bethany and I've just recently finished my last year of Hazelwood. You may or may not know that this week is mental health week and it is really hard to keep a positive mindset when you're stuck indoors and during these times. So I'd suggest going out for your one hour of exercise that could be walking or running and spending as much time with family and friends if you can. If you do all this and you still are feeling down just remember that it's okay to not be okay and it's 100% okay to ask anyone for help. Hi everyone, my name is Megan and I was a senior school head girl for this year. I've just finished year 14 and I'm just recording a quick video before I'll go off to work here but myself and the student council just want to let everyone know that it's absolutely okay to not be okay and it's okay to ask for help. I personally go big walks every day with my mummy and my dog and I try to eat my five a day even if it's in a wee smoothie or on my break and work just gives you so much more energy and you just feel better so I hope everyone's okay and I'll see you all in the future. Hi so my name is John and I just finished my last year in Hazelwood and for Mental Health Week what I find best to keep a positive mental health is to keep in regular contact with my friends whether I could be going and walk with them or chatting to them in social media. Hi everyone, hope you're all keeping safe. To support my mental health, I like to sit outside in the sun, spend time with family and FaceTime friends because it's the only way I can contact them at the minute. Hello everyone, it's Craig here. And I've got two messages for you. One, it's Mental Health Week and it's really important to look after your mental health, especially during this period of time. Um, I've been uh, keeping myself busy, going walks, FaceTime with family and friends, just so I can keep myself entertained and keep the head straight. Also, I want to thank you as a word for everything they've done and say goodbye. Um, it's been an amazing seven years and I couldn't have done anything without the support of the staff. Thank you everyone.